why would you say it's important for you to prioritize your health and also spread that message with your fans? Well, I think that um, especially in the last few years where we've all been so health centric, but for different reasons, we were all, you know, very scared of getting COVID, very scared for our loved ones getting COVID, that I think it, in a way it's made us sort of concentrate more on our health. And of course, a lot of us had that time at home. And I think we've just realized that we have to put ourselves in the best position that we personally can health wise. So we have to watch what we eat. You know, we have to try and live a more healthy lifestyle, move more, do more exercise, eat well, drink less alcohol, go to bed earlier, learn to how to relax, learn how to take care of ourselves and our loved ones and living a less stressed life could be really significant for all of us. And I think we've all had that little window into being able to take that time and to have those thoughts and realize how important our health is. Um, and of course, during that time, some people couldn't get to the doctor, they couldn't get to their appointments, they missed screenings. Um, and you know that's something also that we have to really try and prioritize our own health in that way and catch up on screenings that we may have missed. Oh, I love that. And you're right. You're absolutely right. I, I wasn't getting regular, you know, physical checkups or anything like that until COVID. And I was like, oh, my goodness, I have really been putting my health on the back burner. That's not OK. <laughs> so I, I love that you, you mentioned that. Well, it's very often something that women do as well, because women take care of everybody else. They worry about everybody else's this, that and the other. Sometimes we put ourselves last. But in order to be able to be caretakers, you know, we have to take a little more self-care, I think. Yes. And speaking of self-care, what are three things you do as a form of self-care to, you know, either relax or just just take that moment to yourself? Well, I find that the, the most relaxed I can ever be is if I go out into my yard and do some gardening. So for me, whereby whether it's weeding or whatever I'm doing, I find that's the most relaxing thing for me. Then I walk with my dogs, which is relaxing unless they run away. And then <laughs> very stressful because I have to have a hunt but um I think for me it's almost always about going outside though the third thing I would put is a long soak in a tub with something really nice and scented and try to clear the mind try to relax each part of your body and just let go a little bit even if it's only for 10 or 15 minutes um but for me really it's nature it's getting outside it's getting fresh air and it's moving for me, I don't like so much to go to the gym, but I like to really go for long walks. Mm. And also when I'm working in the yard, you know, you're stretching, you're bending, you're things up. And I find that's pretty good, both for my mind and my body. Mm.